Hey, Kimberly. Hi, David. How are you? I am very, very well. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, uh, curious. this is, seems like to be your business, yes? It's actually, well, yeah, it is my business, but not this part of it all. This part of it all, I'm actually working hard for a good review out of you. That's this part of it all. But later on, as, as you know, ads start to go out, you may need me in the future, and that's kind of where it all, it all happens. So over here on, on my business page, like if you kind of my personal page, if you look at this business page, this is kind of the phone call that I've done. Well, I've been doing this for years, but it wasn't until like the last, I don't know, 60 something. Yeah. Last 65 real estate agents where I said, Hey, I'll give you some tips in return for a good review. And so that's kind of, oh, I just saw Katrina's coming right now, but that's kind of where it all, it all, you know, starts. And if you, I kind of teach you everything you need to need, need to know in this 20 minute call, but should you ever need me in the future, then that's when obviously you can, you can reach out. But right now I was just going to give you some tips. Hopefully you can be the 66 person to give me a review. I get you. Okay. No, I'm happy to. Um, awesome. We believe in always spreading more good. <laughs> yeah. Right. Too. I'm also very loyal for those. I mean, I, I definitely try and keep those that I've always worked with still within in my hand grasp. But awesome. I when you proposition the idea, and I had told you we were on our way to, to bury my grandmother. I yes. obviously, I was like, huh, uh, is this guy real? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and that's why what I'm going to touch on are just basic, basic steps um to implement because i've at this point and i'll give you a little context of where i'm coming from but at this point i've literally spoken to thousands and thousands of real estate agents just since 2016 alone on this exact topic okay. so i was and and that was since 2016 but from 2010 to 2016 i was a lender so being a loan originator doing mortgages for six years, I obviously met a lot of real estate agents. And then when I left in 2016, when I left the mortgage industry, I wanted to help real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising because I, I learned as an LO that majority of them were missing the basics. And so it wasn't until 2016 when I started consulting you guys. And um, what I knew right away is that because we're a business owner, the only reason why you're over here building anything on social media is because you're a business owner. You know, it's the only reason why you'd extend this friend list. You'd try to max out your friend list. It's the only reason because we're building a business. But as I started requesting a lot of you guys in 2016, I knew that the majority of agents and brokers are looking for one thing and that's, that's their next buyer or seller. Like, let's just kind of keep it real. Like you're here to look for your next buyer or seller. So when I knew that, and that's the obvious, like any business owner, I don't care if you're selling shoes or selling hats or you're a chiropractor or you have a yoga studio. At the end of the day, we're just looking for our next client. That's social media to us business owners, at least most of us. Obviously, yeah. building relationships and, and connecting with good people, obviously, that's, that's a given. But I, at the end of the day, there has to be a transaction, right? Kimberly's looking to close her next deal. Let's keep it real. And so as I knew that, coming into helping you guys in 2016, I started analyzing pages. I started looking at personal pages. I started looking at Facebook business pages. And I also had a light bulb, go, another light bulb go on. And that light bulb was the fact that you guys are looking for your next deal, but you're missing the basics. And so we're over here trying to figure out how to run our next Facebook ad to capture our next buyer or seller when we're missing the basics. And so that's kind of what I based this whole, this whole call on was just pointing out a few things after looking at thousands and thousands of real estate agent page. Actually, I, I've literally helped hundreds of clients. That's why, I mean, it wasn't until my last 65 when I said, Hey, you know what? You're going to owe me a good review. But at this point, since 2016, I've literally helped hundreds of, of real estate agents on this topic. I've um, spoken to thousands of, of agents at this point. And I've looked at literally tens of thousands of Facebook business pages from real estate agents. And so over here on my personal page, when you look at my friend list, this is a public list. Like, can you see my screen? Okay. 
a bit, yeah. Yeah, this right here, when you look at my friend list, it's a public list, 5,000. 4,999 are real estate agents. So the only one who, 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 who is not a real estate agent on this list is my wife. So, and that, so that, that has been that since 2016. Every single one is a real estate agent. And so all I'm saying is that for the past few years, I've been seeing what thousands and thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing their business on Facebook. And, and I'm here to tell you, I ended up, and, and so I ended up writing a book about this in 2018. Um, and I boiled it down to five steps, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. Every agent is automatically coming over here looking to start step three. Start, step three is what I call Facebook advertising. So everyone's trying to figure out how to run a Facebook ad, or if you're not, that's what you will be thinking of because that's where we have to be headed is Facebook advertising. Um, and I'll explain why, but that's what I call step three. And so what I wanted to do in the next few minutes is maybe just point out these, these basic steps because I, I truly believe you can do all this yourself. You're not, you're not even going to really need me. So I'm going to just shed some light on your pages, which will help you capture leads in the future and help you with your overall social media branding. And hopefully it makes sense where you can be, you know, the next one who gives me a review. But these are basic steps. Like I literally boiled it down to some basic steps that I see 99.999% of you guys missing. And I truly believe that hinders your branding and it hinders your ability to capture leads. And that's why when I messaged you, you kind of questioned it. You're like, hey, who is this guy? Is this guy real? Because that branding is everything. Like that, 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 and, and so I'm going to point out a few things that make me think that your page is not real. And this is what the, 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 the average consumer, these are the basic things that we look at. And it's not like we're even looking at this intentionally. The average consumer, we're just, we're just programmed to see a few things that pop out. Either they pop out or they don't. And I'll, I'll compare your pages to a few other agents and you'll, you'll, you'll know the difference. You'll be like, okay, yeah, that is missing from my page. Yep. That page does look different. These are basic. And so these are things that you'll be able to do yourself. And I just truly believe, you know, it'll help you in the long run with what you're trying to do here on social media to build your real estate business. Yeah. Cause I mean, I'm at the core of this particular like obstacle in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I do not have the, technology training or provided for training even to where I'm swimming in much more of a, uh, treacherous waters at this stage of my my career mm -hmm. and I need to be able to keep up with all of those as it's all technology and the, the thing is my entire core of everything about me is extreme education knowledge experience because I always have gone ahead by what I know, mm -hmm. not I do, because I too, by the way, did lending, you know, for ten years. Wow, twenty six states and uh, property, you know, all of my investors, private managers. So I have this like twenty seven years of just this huge broad thing of just knowledge. But back then, mm -hmm. knowledge social media didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, you know, traveling the country, telling everybody how to pool funds, you know, mm -hmm. in arena and now it's not really what you know that gets the client it's who you know and I have never been one to um to be in front of the camera in front of the whole scenario that's the, that's the difference I'm not that that person and I'm like oh, for lack of a better <laughs> better word it's like mm. oh, I don't really want to do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> No fun, guys. Nobody wants to see my fucking old baby. <laughs> but I guess since I really do know a lot about real estate, I know what I have to offer. Yes. So much higher than my competition because of knowledge. Yes. And I don't, and I don't know where I can fall into that, but that's my. That's my beat. Well, well, to make, to, to kind of just, and, and I'm going to give you a crash course here. So we'll spend maybe 15 minutes and I'm going to just really dumb it down for you. Okay. But, but as, as uncomfortable as you may think you are with video, I'm here to tell you, you have all that knowledge. And when you could take all that knowledge and break it into small two minute videos that you use to target your local area, 
that branding effect is unlike anything you would have ever done in the past because anything that we would have done in the past when it comes to mortgages or real estate, it was offline. Any type of advertising, any type of offline branding, what were we going to do to get our neighborhood to know who we were? Put our face on a billboard, put, a face on our, put our face on a bus bench, like print out flyers and go pass out flyers. What are we going to do? Door knock? You know, we, we would have to do something to get our, what are we going to do? Hold, hold weekend networking events? Like we would still have to do something offline. And that was all the traditional direct mail. That was all the offline traditional marketing that is still somewhat used in today's world. But now to pull out your cell phone and give us two minutes of a given topic, what it takes to sell, what it takes to buy, what it takes to have the best FICO score, what it takes to make sure your debt to income ratio is good, what it takes to get pre-approved from, from a lender, what it takes, like the, all this information that, that, that is very basic you could talk about and, 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 and you being this much into the industry and having that many years of experience, you literally know more about the buying and selling of residential real estate than 99% of the entire country. And when we could take video content, small short form video content and target, not the country, not even the state, but target your local backyard for literally the cost of lunch, there's no other way you're going to put your message in front of people than, than through a Facebook ad. And that's, that's what I call step three. We're getting a little ahead of each other, of, of ourselves, but that's what I call step three. Because as a, a real estate agent, or let's just say a local business owner, that's what you are. You are a local business owner. Even though you can help anyone relocate, any, any, although you could take on any deal, your ideal client is right there in your backyard. That next buyer or that next seller is right there. So the only way, so that's why I always tell people, local business owners, real estate agents that I speak to, I say, forget about social media because here's the reality. 99%, as you take that 647, as you take it to 1600, as you take it to 2800, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, whether that becomes 2700 followers on Instagram, it does not matter. Here's the reality about these connections and these friends that we have on social media. As we take our personal connection, our personal friend, our personal followers up, and the only reason why we would do that is because we're building a business. If you were not building a business, you'd be fine with the, with the 200 friends that you got because you know every single one of them. Mm -hmm. But because you're building a business, you took it to 647. And because you need to get more exposure, you think you need to take it to 1600, which is what I would think you would, you would be thinking. Because all we're trying to do is expand our network because we're building a business. But here is the reality. Being a local business owner, we are local. So as that friend list goes up, 90 plus, 95, 99% will live across the country. So again, although you can help anyone across the country relocate, I get it. I'm telling you that the, the ROI is when you can focus on your backyard. And okay. that's, that, that's step three. So it's not about... It's not about social media. It's not about posting all over the place. And that's my point. When, I'm, when, you, when, you follow a hand, when you follow a handful of people that all have the same interest, you start to see patterns. When you follow thousands of people that literally all have the same job, you really see patterns. And so I'm here to tell you without no exaggeration, that's 5,000 real estate agents. And I've been keeping it at 5,000 for the past four years. So I'm seeing what everyone's doing. I'm seeing how they're marketing their open house. I'm seeing how they're posting their next listing. And I'm telling you, our friend list, when I look at my 5,000 friends, 100% of them live across the country. So if I was a local real estate agent and I, and I was promoting my next listing, that's 5,000 people that are not even in the market. And that's real estate agents for you. So I'm seeing how everyone's throwing their spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks and nothing's sticking. So, so with your knowledge, I'm telling you, step three, we're a little ahead of ourselves, but I might as well tell you now. Step three is when you just don't post it on social media. That's what everyone's doing. Step three is when you take a short video and target your local area. So if you're doing business in, where are you at? You're, you're in Rancho Marietta. If that's where you're doing business, those are the only folks that need to see your face. And again, offline, how, how would you do that? And, 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 and no matter how you plan on doing that offline, that would still cost you, that would cost you today an arm and a leg. To put your face on every billboard, to put your face on a handful of, of bus benches, to put, to put out direct mail is not cheap anymore. 
So how yeah. else can we get the attention? And, and also in video form, as much as you think you don't like video, I'm here to tell you, you can do it. You can. I've spoken yeah. to a million real estate agents that were afraid to put their face on camera. The moment they put a couple of videos out, they're, they're freaking a rock star now. But the point is, the strategy is we only focus on your backyard. That's how you need to be thinking. And the only way we can do that is through a Facebook ad. There's no other way. And so, and so, but there's a few steps to that. So why don't I just, I'll just, I'll, I'm going to just keep it simple. Let me just back up a little bit. And before you even start thinking of a Facebook ad or before you even think about your next lead, I'm going to back up and just show you what your pages are missing. And, and again, okay. this is all going to lead up to, to capturing leads, but here's where you should start first. And again, I show you the 5,000 just to let you know, I've been seeing what everyone's doing. And when I, and that's where I, that's where I got these five steps from because I knew everyone's looking for a lead, but they're missing step one and two. And, and so that's where I came up with this because in your industry, branding is everything. Now that we're on social media, we now call it social media branding. So if we're building a business, we better make sure that our social media branding is up to par. And after looking at thousands and thousands of pages, this is what I see. So this is the first impression. When we start to connect with people, obviously the picture says a million words. Mother, professional, awesome mother. I can tell a lot from an image. I mean, we could tell a lot from an image. But again, because we're building a business, there's information that needs to be in this intro that 99.999% of every realtor misses. And it's basic, but it's the most important. And so here's the reality. As you start to take this friend count up, not only are most people not going to be in the, in, not going to be in the area, but the majority of these people are not going to know you. Like, let's, I mean, the same way you're on this call one and who I am, I'm also on this call one and who you are. Like, I don't know you either, but I'm your <laughs> friend, right? But we're friends on Facebook. How is that? How, how, how is that? Right. And so I'm just saying, as you take that number up, everyone's going to question you. No one's going to know Kimberly. As we go to 1600, trust me, no one's going to know you. And so because we have a message, because we have a product to sell, because we're building a business, this intro is step one. So here's the reality. I come across Kimberly's page and this is what she's showing me. Realtor at, and that's a link straight to your broker's page, self-employed, studied, studied, went, Liz from joined. That's what I see as the first impression. I come across Candy's page. Let me refresh her page. I come across Candy's page and this is what she's showing me. So we're friends on Facebook. I don't know Candy no more than I know Kimberly. But when I come to Candy's page, she's showing me a bit more. This is basic and this is super important. And I'm telling you, 99% of every agent misses it. So right away, she's showing me a link to her business page, not her brokers. So all the attention is in all the likes are going to her link right away. All I got to do is hover over it. I don't even have to click on it. I can just hover over it, scroll down and click on like. But also most importantly, because we're now in this social media world, she's showing me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. And it's not that she's a social media butterfly and it's not that she's posting on all these platforms all damn day because who got time for that? No one. But she's just showing credibility. She's letting us know, hey, I exist. I'm a real person. Find me on Instagram. Find me on Twitter. Find me wherever the hell you want to find me because here's the reality. As a business owner, you don't need to be posting all those, but what you do need to know is where your audience is at. These are the top five. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Every past client, every existing client, every future client you will ever close escrow on from this day forward is literally on one of those platforms this very second. Unless you're closing deals of 90 or maybe let's just say 80 year olds, 80 and up, they may not be here, but I'm convinced that an 83 year old is for sure on Facebook because they're following their grandchildren or they may be on Instagram or LinkedIn because they're following their grandchildren. So those are the platforms and all we need to do as a business owner is have them listed, have them active, have them listed. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, every single one of them is identical. Basic branding that I'm saying everyone misses. So as you take this 647 up, not only are 99% are of them not going to know you, not only are 99% of them going to live outside of the, of the area, but also 99% of the 647 are normal people. 
meaning they're not in the business. They're not lenders. Maybe 1%, you have a ton of realtors, maybe lenders, title reps, escrow officers. That's maybe 1%. 99% have no clue about the business. So when you have your broker's link up here, if I didn't know any better, I'd click it. I would click like only because I want to support you. And, and these are genuine people. I'm not talking about creeps and random people that are messaging you stuff disrespectfully. I'm talking about the genuine friends that you start connecting with. They're going to think that's your page. They click like, and God only knows when I like that page, it does Kim no good. But we have it listed. Why? You know what I mean? So that link needs to be your link because unless you click invite like you did to me, no one's going to even know you have a business page. Does okay. that kind of make sense? Yes, it does. So, so basic, that's what I call step one. Everyone's looking to capture the next lead, but no one's showing their credibility. And so those links, I mean, look at yours compared to this one. It just looks a little bit more updated. That's all, you know, and, and I'm just saying everyone misses it because again, that's the first impression. So I come over to Kim's. That's what I see right away. If I want to dig in and do some due diligence, I'm, I'm going to click on about. That's the most obvious tab to click on. And when I click about, this is what I see. Phone number, July 28th. When I click on Candy's about, this is what I see. Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, people today in 2020 on social media are going to follow you first before they ever pick up the phone and call you. In our old school days of, of branding and marketing, our phone number, our license number, my NMLS number, that was on every form of marketing. Phone number for sure, right? On, in today, social media, ain't no one picking up the phone and calling you. Unless they're a creep and they want to just you know, hit you up for whatever reason because they think you're cute and it's some random guy, then for sure they'll probably pick up the phone and text you something stupid, which is why I would take it off. Today, it's not about the phone number. You and I got on the call today without me even ever calling you. I don't even know your phone number. So we messaged each other. I was either going to message you on Facebook. That message could have came from LinkedIn. And that's the thing. That's why these links are so important on the personal page because just because Kim and David connected on Facebook, how does she know that David doesn't spend the majority of his 57 hours a day on Twitter? And if I was interested in, in buying or selling, I would have most likely messaged you there. I would, have saw, I would have saw your link. I would have messaged you there because that's where I'm comfortable messaging. And you just better hope you got that. So just having them listed, having them matching means the world to our brand in today's social media world. And that's what everyone's missing. So not only do I, do I not see it on the personal page, but when I come to the business page, nine out of 10 times, I, I don't even see it on the business page. Like if I, go to, if I go to Candy's business page, I click about on your business page, this is where it should also be. So all of your social media links should be in the about section because as people start to see your ads, which is step three, they're gonna see the ad or they're gonna see your name most people click on your name and come over to your business page before they ever give up their name and phone number. If you're running a random ad on a listing, an open house, or any kind of buyer or seller, they're not going to always click on your ad right away. They're going to also click on your page. And if I come to your page and click about, there just better be something listed. And, and so nine out of 10, if I find your business page and click about, normally there's nothing there. And again, it's just credibility. It's social proof. It, 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 it shows, does a person real or, or is she not? You know? And so, and that brings me to my, my, my second thing is I tried searching for your business page and, and I can't even find it. So that leads me questioning you. You know what I mean? Right. So, so, so what's your business page? I mean, I, I typed in your name, but I, I can't find it any, and, um, under any pages. What else? What am I missing? Kimberly, um, is there a realtor at the end or real estate at the end or? Kimberly sells for you. Kimberly sells for, is it the number four? Is it for you? Let's, let's just see if this pops up anything. Um, let's see if I can just type it in at the top. Is it the number four or the word? Yeah, the number four. Okay, so Kimberly. The next thing, I don't know where to get that type of training to do all of that crossover because i know i did the um the face the business page mm -hmm. 
they don't interlink, but I go in every day and I will update the page and gauge those ads and stuff and promote them over to my personal page because I have more numbers on my personal page. Um, and you were right. I mean, I see a lot of, uh, of people to connect and I'm like, I don't know you from Adam. And yeah, exactly. But, but my point is, is that you're, you're thinking we need to, which, which, which that's the obvious thing, the most logical thing. If we're a business owner, we're thinking we need as many people as possible. But because we're a local business owner, every Tom, Dick, and Harry you could possibly connect with, I don't care if it's this platform, that platform, the other platform, it does not matter. They're not in the area. Mm. So, so, so the moment you start posting your listings and promoting your next open house, no one cares. And that's the reason why when you post on your business page, I'm willing to bet without even looking at it, there's not much engagement. If you post something, you may have one person that likes it because no one is in the area. So what we end up doing is we end up inviting, we end up clicking invite to the 647 friends we have to like our business page when 99% of the 647 do not live in the area. So it, it, so we'll get to that part. That's actually step two, the likes. That's step two. But let me just pull up your page. I can't even find your page. Am I spelling it right? K-I-M-B-R-L-Y sells for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing is coming up if I do it that way. So my personal page, will you see it right away? Um, is, okay, here we go. Is it, it's this one right here. Okay. So let's it's this one right here okay cool so so this right here is your username so you have you have the title and then you have the username the at sign golden.rule.re that right there is what i'm referring to i want you to use that username or or another one either we run with that one or we run with a different one but it needs to be one that at sign that's this over here so hedge properties hedge properties hedge properties that's the at sign instagram.com forward slash hedge properties, facebook.com forward slash hedge properties. So over here, you have, you have facebook.com. Let me go back to the actual original link. It's this right here. So if I delete everything behind it, that is your actual link right there. So facebook.com forward slash golden dot rule dot dot R E. We need to, we need to change that. We need to completely change that. Not because the name is not good. It's because we have the dots in there. You want something flush, no dots. Um, be, and, and then so now, so all I'm saying, step one is now just going to Twitter, going to LinkedIn, going to Instagram, going to Pinterest, and also getting the dot com. So if I click about, this is where I should see everything. So, and everything should be matching. I should see the dot com. I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter. That's so what I should see in the intro or in the about section, excuse me. Yeah, you're going too fast for me. So I pulled up the... I pulled up the business page mm -hmm. You're, um, at, I need to change that. Correct. I would recommend changing it. I would recommend changing it to something where we don't have the dots. Same thing with obviously Kimberly sells for you, which is my Gmail. I had told myself too, but back then because nothing else existed because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at some point. So I couldn't break it up enough to where someone hadn't already used an email. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that that's the tricky part is is just finding a name that that no one has um and and without the dots so because the last thing you want to do is 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 use this name and then all of a sudden someone has it on linkedin or or use that name and someone has the dot com like well, i've LinkedIn, seen that over and over and over yeah linkedin's just my name yeah uh, see so that might take you some time to just think of a name, you know, that you're comfortable with, but there's so many names. There's so many variations. You will find a name. All I'm here to do is, is, is just recommend what it, what it should be. Just that's what it, it should be listed. It should be one name for all. And that's where I'm going to see it is I'm going to see it when I click about. So and then in that, right. You had proceeded to say, if it links over to this page, right. Then it also, I should have at on the other one. They should be the same. Isn't that what you would say? Yeah, on, on all of them. So just like this, on, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, all of them. All okay. of them would be like, for example, if I click on Instagram, so just like on your business page, let me click, up, let me click home. This is the way your, your link looks. Facebook.com forward slash golden rule. So that's the username. So with Candy, same thing with Candy. Hers is Facebook.com forward slash hedge properties. 
but her Instagram is also the same thing. So Instagram.com forward slash hedge properties. So whatever that one name is, we want to, we want to customize these, these top five, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter. And we want to get the dot com. Not that, you, not that you need a new website. You can have your same website if, if you have one through your broker or whatever, but you just want to own the .com. You want to own that name. You want to own that .com. And when people click on it, that's the only .com you brand. And when people click on it, then, they, then it can be forwarded to your, to your website. But at least you own the .com. Does that okay. make sense? Yes. Because, um, yeah, so you don't even have any .com listed. But even if you did, that dot com would be the website address that your broker, you know, gives you. Like for example, if you're with if you're with KW, KW they give you it would be Kimberly dot KW dot com. Like that's the default link that they give you for your quote unquote website. Nine out of ten agents will post that link rather than getting their own Kimberly dot com. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So, so I'm just saying just for, 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 for branding purposes and, and for just, just for the ease of, 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 of the eye, like, yeah, one name for all. And, and especially that, that, and, and that would go on business cards. So it'd, it'd be easy to just put maybe on your business card, your social media icons at one name. And, and as you start to, I don't know if you ever do podcast or interviews or anything like that, as you start to just get your brand out there even more promoting one name is much, much easier. Hey guys. Yeah, for sure. Follow me on your favorite platform at Kimberly sells for you. You can find me on your favorite platform and their favorite platform is going to be one of the five. So it's just easier for your audience to remember you by one name and one name only, you know, and, and it looks good. It looks good for your branding. So that's step one. It might take you a little while to think of that one name, but trust me, think of that one name and lock it on every platform. And I have a video, like I have a 10 minute video that can walk you through how to set everything up. So that, that part's easy. That's not going to be hard for you at all. That's step one. Here's step two. Okay. Again, having thousands of people, all the same job. I'm telling you, Kim, everyone's doing the same damn thing. And step two is every agent, I can go on for days. Here are my notifications. I can show you all. Every single agent, every single day clicks invite. That's what we're all doing. Everyone's inviting their friends to like their business page. And when I click on any page, again, at this point, this is what I've been consulting on since 2016 on this exact thing, step two. At this point, I've literally seen tens of thousands of pages. When it comes to real estate agents, 99% of you guys have 200 to 300 likes. And these are the likes that came from our friends when 99% of those people live across the country. So just like step one, this link, this intro, that's the first impression. When it comes to our business page, that 127 is the first impression. So I'm telling you 99% of agents all have the same amount of likes. So I don't know Kimberly no more than I know Candy. But when I click on Candy's page and I go over to her business page, this is what I see, 3,500. So the average consumer, there's 2 million real estate agents on Facebook alone, 2 million on Facebook alone. Every consumer is used to looking at, if, if they're looking at a page at all, they're looking at 200 likes. I'm telling you, I've seen tens of thousands of them. All I'm saying is grab my attention. If I land here, I better not see 127. If I land here, show me at least 1,200. And it doesn't happen, click an invite. That's the first Facebook ad. So before you run lead capture ads, before you try to find your next buyer and seller, it's what Facebook calls a Facebook like ad. You run that ad for a week or so and take that number up. Because again, as no one knows Kimberly, that's what we end up judging you on. I don't know that you have this extensive 25-year period in mortgages and real estate. I don't know that you're badass. I don't know that you're a freaking top producer on social media. No one knows that. I don't know you. I'm judging you and I'm discrediting you based on that low light count. I'm thinking you just started. Right. And right? I know where it's, it's weak. I don't know the skills to change that. 
That's a simple Facebook ad. I can, I can easily run it for you. You're not going to owe me anything but a good review. I mean, if you have any budget whatsoever, we can run that simple ad and take that number and put a comma in it fast. Like I'm talking super fast, but that's, that, that's one ad. It's not a lead capture ad. It's a like ad. And the only reason why we would do that is to completely change around the perception that people have when they land here, which is what we call social proof and credibility. And that's why over here on my page, like you're wondering who the heck I am. So you're going to come do some due diligence on me as well. There's my links. So you automatically know, okay, damn, let me find him on Instagram. Let me, let me look him up on LinkedIn, see if he's legit. Okay, be my guest. And then a person clicks over here on my business page. And if they click about to wonder who the heck David is, you know, on the business page, they click about and there goes all of my links right there. Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital. Everything is one name. But then also when they come to the home to maybe scroll down and see what I'm doing and see what I'm up to, they come, they, they come to the home part first before they probably ever click about, but they'll, they'll come to the home part. And then as they scroll down and just see what David's up to, let me, let me refresh this. Um, that's, that's the about page. But if, if I come to just the home page, here's the home page. Um, okay, here we go. And as people just scroll down to see who the heck David is, they scroll down, scroll down. And before they even get to the first post right away, they see that number. So instantly, instantly, you ain't questioned me on much. Automatically, you're assuming that I must know something about something. Because how in the heck are 10,000 people liking the damn page? Right? Like, is that not a different perception or, or what? Oh, of course. Right? And yours doesn't have to be 10,000. Like, I'm telling you right now, every agent has 200. So if you had... 2000, you are in a completely different category than 99% of every agent. Trust me. I've seen them all. I've seen them all. And so that's just basic social proof and credibility. That right there goes a long ways. That's step two. So when you could take that like count up a little higher to really separate yourself from every other agent in the country, even though you're not even worried about every agent, I get it. You're probably not even worried about that. You're focused on yourself. I get it. But at the same time, the consumer that's what we're looking at. And it's not that we're coming here, oh, let me see how many likes Kim has. No, I mean, the average consumer, ain't, they ain't tripping on that at all. But it's a sore thumb. That's all it is. It sticks out. I can't help but notice, you know, 127 versus coming here and noticing 3,500. I'm going to just naturally, psychologically assume that candy's the shit. And excuse my language. But that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking candy is the queen of real estate and Kim may have just started Little do I know, Candy just got licensed. Kim has been doing it for 25 years. I don't know that, right? So and that's step two. Going around how you do make your Facebook ads, you get your, your ad out there, you promote it, you boost it, you ask for people to like it, and you can No, you don't it. ask for anyone. It's, a, it's, it's an actual ad. Mm -hmm. So the ad mm -hmm. is going to go out while you're sleeping. Like okay. ain't no one, you ain't clicking invite no more. Like those days are over. Like, and, and it's a good thing I caught you now at 127 because I speak to agents that are at 600 and they've been clicking invite for the past six years. So I'm here to tell you, it's a simple Facebook ad. And in fact, let me show you candies. Like I have, I was working on hers earlier. This is, this is the ads manager. So this is the back end part of Facebook. This is where you run ads from. And the way you get here is you can come to your page if you come to your page, you click on create, you click on add, that will bring you to the ads manager. This is a normal Facebook ad. This is an ad that I have live right now. So as people scroll through the newsfeed and they're just seeing what their friends are up to, this is a friend of mine, Don. Again, I don't know her, lives across the country, but a friend of mine on Facebook. I scroll through, scroll through, scroll through, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. This is a like ad. So a person, they, this is the call to action. So this call to action would either, would, either, would either say like page or nine out of 10 times it would say learn more because a person is either promoting a listing, they're promoting an open house or some, something like that. It would say learn more. And, and the moment you click on it, it takes you to a web page where you can capture the lead. But this is a like ad. So there's only one call to action and it's to like page. So a person can scroll through and then all of a sudden they click on like and they like the page. 
this is a real ad that I have live right now. And this is for Candy's page. When I started this ad about eight days ago, she had 300 likes. So it's not an ad that you run all month. It's not an ad that you run every month. It's a one-time ad. It's just to give it a, 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 it's just to inject some life into the page and give off that perception of a bigger number. One okay. ad. So, so that, that's step two. And then step three is when you now start focusing on local ads and that's when you start going after buyer and sellers. So when it comes to a Facebook ad, that's the only way you're going to get the attention of your local area. It's not going to happen any other way. It's not going to happen any other way. Not one, not, not any, not on any platform, not on Facebook. I need to focus on my backyard. If I was a real estate agent and I'm licensed here in California and I live in, in and I'm farming San Diego, but more, more, more specifically, I'm farming two zip codes. It's like, dude, no one on social media is in that area. I'd have to target something. I'd have to run some type of ad. And in this case, where we're at now in 2020, at least where we're at today, it's a Facebook ad. If there was any other magic pill, I'd be promoting a freaking TikTok ad or a Snapchat ad. It's a Facebook ad. Because I could take my message, run an ad for, let's just say, a seven-day period for less than what it would cost me if I took you to dinner. And that's a fact. So... Most agents think that this stuff costs thousands of dollars. I would spend more if I took you out to dinner than I would spend running an ad for a listing for an entire week. That's a fact. So it's not expensive at all. It just comes down to the how do I do it. But I'm just giving you the basics and I'm giving you step by step what needs to happen first. Step one, list all those links. Step two, take that like count up and then start running targeted ads to your local area. And, and when you start running ads to your local area, let me see if I can scroll through and just see anything random of, of a real estate agent because every single post is an agent. Let me see. People are posting random stuff. Let me go to my, let me, um, this is my actual news feed, but let me go to a group that I have. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll for sure I can find something there. Everyone's posting random freaking Corona stuff. Let me go to a group. Here's what I would normally see. And here's another part of, of social media. We think that we can be in these groups and post our listings or, or, or information about our business in all these groups. The facts about all these groups is that 99% of the members in the group live across the country as well. Unless you're involved with a group that is specifically only members in your local city, okay, then there goes maybe a, a group where you can post your next listing or promote your open house. But if you're in any of these random groups, no one's in the area. And so as this is my group, I have 4,600 real estate agents in this group, Everyone posts their listings when 99% of the people in here live across the country and no one cares. But I have it open just so people can post their listings. But at the same time, people who are seeing it, no one cares. And that's why I can scroll through every single post and there's not one like on anything because as people see it, they're not even in the area. So here's, here, so step three, here's what Chris should have did. Look at this video right here. This is on a listing, okay? Chris got 158 views by throwing spaghetti against the wall. That is a very untargeted post. What Chris should have did, and look, it's a like page. So if I like the page, what did that have to do with the, the listing that he was promoting or she? So rather than doing that, I would have ran that. This is step three. I would have ran that directly to that local area and rather than like page, it would have said, learn more. And when I click on that button, it's, it's an ad. When I click on that button, I would have came or I would have brought you to a page like this. This is step four. So what every agent does is they'll post their listing, they'll post their open house in hopes of someone commenting. When that's not what we do at all. That's not, I mean, we're not going to build a business that way at all. I'm saying rather than doing that, run that as an ad directly to that local area. And rather than like page, people click learn more. They're brought to one single page, not your fancy website that your broker gave you. They're taken to one simple page, which is what I call step four. This is a landing page. They come here, they click on the button, they opt in. 
That's how you capture leads on social media. You run a targeted ad, whether it was a listing, whether it was an open house, whether we're giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide, it's an ad, step three, directly to the local area. Step four, they're coming to a landing page. Step five, they're giving up that name and email. That is it. Like, and, I, and I know that was a ton, but those are five basic steps. Step one, list those links. Step two, take that like count up. And step three, whether it's going to be video or image, you have to start running Facebook ads to your local area or none of this social media is going to pan out for you. None of it. None of it on any of these platforms. It's a Facebook ad directly to my local area. Step three. Step four, I better be taking them to a landing page. And step five, I better be capturing that lead. And as we can do that and build that lead count of hundreds of people that literally live two miles away from me, that's when we start to close deals. That landing page that you described for clarification is that's in the ad that's ran. If, when they come and they click like, it. Not, not like when they click on learn more. So for example, if I go back to the, to the, to the newsfeed, whether we're looking at Facebook from our computer or we're looking at it from our cell phone, this middle section is the newsfeed. This is prime real estate. This is where the majority of the ads are ran in this middle section. So look, as I scroll down and I, and I see another sponsored ad, there goes the learn more. So the ad targeting your local area, that's step three. When I click on learn more, Let's see where they're taking me. They're taking me to one single page, very different than your website. This is one single page where I opt in. That's step four, the landing page. And then step five is the actual lead capture. That's when I now have you on an email list. And now I can set up an email autoresponder to nurture that list. Because ain't no one got time to be emailing individual people every day either. I ain't got time for that. So as I capture the lead, that's step four, the, the landing page. Step five, my email automation is set up in place. So if I was running an ad for a listing, I'm taking you straight to this page, which is what I call step four. I get that name and email. That's step five. Automatically, an email is triggered. Hey, Kim, this is David. Just wanted to follow up and say thanks. I noticed you just inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, here's all the specs. There's photos. There's the address. Hey, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a private showing. Have a great day, Dave. Can't wait to talk to you. That's an automated email that would have went out. That's what I call step five. Two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Kimberly. Just wanted to follow up. I know a couple days ago you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, guess what? The property is still on the market. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Hey, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your private showing. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. These are automated emails that would be going out. A handful, not, you know, not 50 of them, just maybe, maybe three, four emails that are programmed already to go out. That's what I call step five, your email automation. The same strategy will apply for a listing. The, and, and, and the same strategy would, would apply for, let's say, a page like this. Let's say we had an open house coming up this weekend, and now we're running an ad targeting that local area, promoting an open house. They see the ad, they click learn more. They come over here, they see a few bullet points, click here to RSVP. That's how we capture the lead. Automatically that email will trigger, hey Kim, just wanted to follow up, this is Dave. Hey, thank you so much for RSVPing. Our open house is gonna be off the hook. Hey, here's what to expect. And that's an automated email that goes out. A day later, hey, Kim, this is Dave. I just want to follow up. Hey, we got four more days to the open house. Hey, who are you inviting? Bring your whole family. It's going to be an awesome event. Come prepared, blah, blah, blah. Another day later, another email triggers. And, and that's, that's so, so capturing these local people, getting their attention from a local ad, taking them to a landing page and building the relationship through an automated email series is how we do it. It's how you do it. It's how anyone would do it if they're looking to build a business today in 2020 on social media. So at the end of it all, I'll say this in closing. I speak to many, many agents where the budget isn't always there. And that's understandable. I cannot stress enough how much, and, and, and this is just me assuming. I have no idea your financials at all. I'm just assuming. If a person has to have some type of side hustle, or if they have to have some type of part-time income, or if they have to sell stuff on the weekend, 
to have some type of monthly budget for Facebook advertising, that's what you have to do. You have to have some type of budget nowadays to build a business. And it's always been that way. I mean, nothing's changed. Advertising is advertising. But today it's on social media and it's on Facebook and it's taken yeah. to a landing page. And, and, and that's, not, that's not the most of money at all. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm saying budget a few hundred a month. I'm not saying a few thousand. But at the same time, I know how it is. Not, not everyone even has a few hundred a month. And I get it. So if we have to have a part-time hustle to have a few hundred a month so we could pay for Facebook advertising to build our real estate business, that's what we have to do. It is what it is. You know? But I'm just giving you the blueprint on, on, on how it should be. And this is, again, I, I, spent a, I spent 25 years in marketing alone, even before mortgages. So this isn't just my marketing perspective. It's not just that. But it's also just seeing what everyone's doing. And, and, and again, 99.999% miss these five basic steps and wonder why they're not capturing leads on social media. That's all. You know? So I know that was an earful, Kim, but I'm done. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Any questions whatsoever? I know that was a lot. <laughs> right? Here, here's what I would. Here's where you start. Forget about step three, four, and five. The landing pages, email automation. Forget about all that, all that. Right now, step one: get all those links listed. Step two: let's run a like ad. That's it. And in the meantime, you could be prepping for step three, which is local lead capture, whether you're going to start focusing on buyers or sellers, you're going to want to focus on one, but that's step three, that, that doesn't have to happen right now. Right now, that like number needs to go up and those links need to go up before anything else. So I have a question on all of my, all of my links, I changed them. Excuse me a second. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, come here, come here. Um, if I change all of those links and Instagram and LinkedIn, Wolfie, sorry. No, no worries. My, my question to you is then all of the contacts and friends that I have no. on, I have to start over, right? No, zero. No, not at all. You're not setting up a new account. You're simply going into the settings and changing the, the username. Okay. So, same account, same everything. We're just changing the username. Like for example, on Facebook, if I wanted to change the username, I would just simply come to my business page. I would click about and I would simply come over to the username. I would click edit and change the username. That's and change it. everything that's the after at. So yes, we want the at. Yeah. Well, obviously I, I already know that Kimberly sells for you. I need to change that. I may not be able to change my Gmail at the moment to be, cause that's actually my email as well. Mm -hmm. But if I change the Kimberly sells for you, get rid of the dot, see if it's still open or available, however it be, then at, I need to do that same for Instagram, LinkedIn, and then back to my personal page. Correct. That's what you're not, saying. Not the personal page. You want to change the, the username, the at sign for the business page. Okay. For the okay. business page. And then you get everything listed on the personal page and the business page. But again, that part is, is easier than you can imagine. I have a video that I'll send you. Like okay. it's, a, it's a 10 minute video that walks you through it. Once you watch the video, you'll be able to customize your links in two minutes. But, but what I'm concerned about is that that name is most likely not going to be available. Like if I go Kimberly sells for yep. you. Yep. You're right. And I check the dot com. I'm willing to bet this dot com is taken. Wow. You better grab that as soon as possible, Kim. You better grab that. You better grab that as fast as possible. There's no way I would have thought. I would have betted the world that that name was not available. It's available. And this is where I start. I normally would start to, I would start at the dot com. If the dot com is available, chances are it's available everywhere else. Because normally a person that's really building a business, they have the .com of that name first. So there it is there. And, and again, I'll send you a video. But in the meantime, here's how, here, here's how I want you to do it. And again, this will, this will be in the video. But if you go to Google, just go to Google.com and you type in cheap domains. Okay. Cheap domains. Here's what you're going to see at the top. So if I go, if I go cheap domains 
at the very top, I'm going to see an ad from GoDaddy and I'll see it for 99 cents. So for the first year, you can get it right now for a buck. So after that, it's a normal, whatever it is, $17.99 or $14.99. Everyone pays that annual fee for a .com, but at least for the first year, you can get it for a dollar. That's what I would do for sure is, is, is Google cheap domains, look for the ad at the top and, and get, that, get that domain for a buck. And then, and then, yeah, once you have that .com, then at least you have it. You don't need a website. You don't need anything like that. At least you have the .com now. And, and, and now you want to go into every platform and change the user name, which is super simple. That's step one. Okay. I just followed your thing. Kimberly sells for you. They don't have it with an, they don't, blah, a gal already has it for you, but four is spelled out. I got it. But hers is Kimberly Carter. Okay. Uh, so that, I was just like, really? Cause you were saying that it was available. I'm like, that look, can't. I see it right here. This is not it. Um, Am I spelling that wrong? Hey, hey, hey. That that looks like it's available to me. Let me do it again. Expired list. Am I Kimberly sells for you dot com? It it looks available to me. I'm at, so on my phone and then my laptop. What you're scrolling in that I'm seeing? It's just um. Uh, can't even on less than a space I can see. Da, 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 let me scroll on my phone. Do it from your computer if if possible. That's it, what I can do. It says it is available. Kimberly sells for you dot com is available on GoDaddy. Yeah, GoDaddy. I'd get it through GoDaddy. I've 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 had a million domains for the past twenty years on GoDaddy. So okay. it's super simple. Lock down that name, and then yeah, then then customize everything else. Yodely dodely. And what about slogan? Because everything. I mean, that's not really necessary unless you're putting together some type of, of offline marketing material, then the slogan is cool. But just for, for this right now, the username is all you need. Okay. Cause I've always done smart realtor for you. But. Oh yeah. I love that. That's perfect. But that you wouldn't put that anywhere, you know, in, in GoDaddy or whatever, or even here, if anything, if anything, you can, you can get some custom designs and some custom, like, like right here on your personal page, this, this cover photo, you can put a custom co cover photo on your business page, a cover photo on your Twitter, a cover photo on your LinkedIn, um, and you can have those customized. Simple, simple, simple. You could you know, spend 10 bucks and have some designer design it and put your slogan on that. That's what I would do. I would love to um, and not take any more of your time to have it where they did pull me up and then my thing would be that would be my my title that I'm marketing is smart realtor for you yeah and then, for sure okay yeah for sure and then and then step two is just the likes I mean if we have any budget do we have any budget at all to run a Facebook ad yes okay yeah. What, what can we put, let's just call it, let's just call it the first month. Like if we ran this ad for one ad for the first, even I know we're going to hit our goal within a couple of weeks, but even if we were running it for a month, what's our monthly budget just for, for this one ad. And I'll tell you how many we can, how many likes we can really expect. Um, I don't know how much it even costs, but I know that I was also looking at um, marketing through um, marketing 360 right okay. so mm -hmm. i have them set up to get information from them tomorrow to try and launch past some of these things that are my obstacles that's so to manage and oversee or capture on, on emails even though my i do self do my own marketing on my emails i like my own yeah. letter and anything that any marketing company is going to do for you is step three maybe step four if they have some type of landing page and then and then step five is the email automation so if any marketing company is going to do anything for you it's to capture leads i'm convinced that everybody tries to start there what i'm doing is just dumbing it down and and, and doing step one and two first so before that marketing company starts running targeted ads to capture buyer and seller leads which is step three that like number better be up right. that's all i'm saying so I would suggest putting our next dollar and it doesn't have to be a lot putting that next dollar into that like count before you go hire anybody to do step three for you. That's just well, what I suggest. 
Well, I was just going to ask then, because I know um, a lot of those marketing things, they're from like 800 to $1,400 every month. And oh, then you of course. Have to- mm-hmm. Of course. For nine months for any results. And I said, no, I'm not going to, to do that. Oh, that's I crazy. It's the face kind of marketer, but I still need to get in the face. And that's where Facebook keeps bringing me back, right? It just, mm-hmm. well, because there is some face to face a bit more about it. Um, and then the other two is, like you said, people are all across the country, information sharing. We pull people into our um, meetings, that mm-hmm. type of group conversation that's also more approachable than mm-hmm. things i could be wrong you know no, I know no you're 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 you, you those are all different strategies at the end of the day how do i capture the lead i got to capture the lead first so i got i got to run some type of ad to my local area to get their attention first and and i got to make it so simple where all they do is click on a button go to my landing page and give up their name and number or name and email after that i can direct them wherever i want but 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 any, most yeah, marketing companies are going to run that ad to 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 do that to capture the lead. That's what has to happen first. You know that that's what justifies paying them a thousand a month because they're bringing in leads. Wherever you want to take that lead from that point on, that's up to you. Put them in a group, set up a networking event, invite them here, invite them there. That's all up to you, and that's why the email automation is so important. So you can nurture the list via email, automated. But again, it's all about step one and two first, like, like that is what every, every page is missing is just the credibility, the basic, basic. And that's why whatever you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on this ad. Like you put a little bit towards the likes, get that number up and then go do something more, more, you know, lead capture. But that like ad, that's not a lead capture ad. That's simply to increase the likes. Mm -hmm. That's just what I call an ad that we need to do first, you know? So it's totally up to you because as you start to run these ads, as you hire anybody to start capturing leads for you, it's that 127 that sticks out like a sore thumb. So how much do you, one, do you charge? And two, how much are you saying Facebook, since I've never ran an ad, I don't know how much they charge to run an ad. It's totally up to you. Like I'm going to charge you a review. That's what I'm going to get out of you. You just tell me what your budget is for the month. And it doesn't, we're not talking hundreds of dollars. Like you just tell me what we're comfortable with spending on one ad. I'll run it for you. You give me a good review. And the reason why I do that, just to be real with you, is in hopes of building a relationship and in hopes of you coming back to do step three. Now, this company you're speaking with tomorrow, they may knock your socks off and that's cool. But at least I got out step one and two for you. And, and at least I got a good review out of you, which I'm going to leverage in the future. But- that's fine. My whole intention is to have you come back and say, you know what, that guy, David, he kept it real. I'm not going to hire these folks at 1500 when I can hire him at 500 and he's going to capture local leads for me. That's my intention with you for the long run. And, and, and as you step into my world and as we get this first step going, it's my email automation that you'll experience. And those emails are set up to go out over the next couple of weeks to stay in touch with you And to get you to schedule another appointment with me, that's email automation. So I'm not going to sit here. Hey, Kim, are you ready to start step three? Hey, Kim, call me back. Hell no. I ain't got no time for that. My email automation is going to build the, build the relationship because from this point on, I'm going to send you a handful of emails. I'm going to teach you how to do these steps yourself. And, and if that doesn't work, which nine out of 10 times it doesn't because either a person is either, either slammed with closing escrows and they ain't got time to learn it. Or they're just somewhat, you know, tech challenged and they don't have the patience to learn it. So nine out of 10 times, you're going to come back to me anyways and say, damn, David, you gave me all this value. You taught me how to run the ad. You taught me about landing pages. You taught me about email automation. And that's all through my emails. And nine out of 10 times, a client will come back and say, damn, David, let's go on to the next step. Forget about the other company that was pitching me 1500. I'm going to start with you. That's my ultimate goal with you, Kim just to keep it real. But even if I don't get you and you speak with that company tomorrow and they're like, damn, they blew your mind. That's cool too. But at least I can at least help you with these first few steps. And that's kind of also what I'm in it for. You know what I mean? Got it. Got it. So, I don't know. I, again, I'm not tech savvy. I, and I can take the time to learn, but um, you probably sit at your desk doing this all day long. That's all I do. Yeah. That's um, all I do. 
I would grab a shovel and dig my own grave. I hate it. <laughs> What, what, what can we put towards a Facebook ad this month that won't break the bank? Um, well, as I'm looking at the domain thing, it's saying uh, blah, 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 $10 per year, big BFD. So whatever it was, a dollar or not, I don't care. Um, start your website for free. Maybe don't I do that. Can, maybe it says here, if I create my own email, I might be able to swap out so it matches my email at Gmail. Don't do any of that. Uncheck any upsell that they're giving you right now. You only want the domain for right now. Okay. Yeah, uncheck everything else. And just put no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. And just get to the end to, to check out. Got it. See, you know how it operated. Awesome. 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 So you got that name now. Now time to now it's time to change all. Don't worry about that right now. I'll send you a video on how to how to change all the other names, how to how to customize to fit that name now that we got. It says here I must have done something wrong then, because it's still up now asking for twenty nine bucks change. So I, yeah, I must have fucked up. <laughs> no, I don't. Are you able to share your screen? Are you on? Are you on two different parts of Zoom? Like, are are you? on your cell phone and or what? yeah okay so um if anything click on the link that i that i messaged you click on that let's hang up here or hang up on your cell phone and click on that link from your computer actually what i'll do is this i will type it in All right because you had GoDaddy, which yeah. google that's there I just want to be able to see what you're seeing. Uh, so if, if you click on the Zoom link from your computer, you can share screen and then I can see what you're seeing. Oh, no. Uh, see, you're, you're getting past my scope. If I click, the, the thing is, the click on is on my phone that you're asking. I'm talking to you through like the Zoom on my phone. Yeah. While I go on the, so go to fa go to Facebook and, and and go to my messages and click on the link the Zoom link from your computer from your from Facebook. There you are. Yeah. So click on that, and then um, hang up on your phone. Leave meeting. I think you can click on leave meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So click on it from your computer, and then you'll be able to share screen. And I'll just see what you're seeing on GoDaddy. Okay, so I have your page up. Or did you put it on my page? No, um, just the link in the message. Click on that Zoom link from your computer. I know, but that's the thing. I'm on it. I don't see the link. You're on your computer, right? You're on Facebook as well. Yeah. So if you go to your messages, that link, the Zoom link, I messaged it to you. I'm getting to it. I don't, I'm like. Oh. That's going to allow you to join Zoom from your actual computer. No, I follow. It's just, you know what? It's not very user friendly. So it doesn't pop up and say, here's all your private messages. I'm like really trying to ask it to open up so I can see it. Hmm. Well, not to waste your time. Back to GoDaddy, right? It's got it was the screen that you had on my phone that popped up, and it said it's still available. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't know why the same price that it says. That makes no sense. Did you put your credit card information in already? Ooh. What's that? No. No. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Let me get it for you. I'll get it for you. I, w I won't be able to do it this second, but I can do it tonight. But I'll, let, me, let me register that name for you. I'll do it for you. Well, I can do it. I need to learn how to do this. Okay. So then I just don't know what part you're on because I mean, you should. Go daddy, right? $1.99 special. Save 60% on your. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it now. Um, 
<laughs> just uncheck any upsell. Like you don't that there you should check out at that price, like no $29 or nothing like that. And make sure that it's for one year. Don't register it for five years. It's like, actually right. a month is what the promo is. It's not a year. No, so you, was, you should be able to hit the drop down. You should see a drop down there that says one year, two years, three years. It's at the checkout. It's like when you're about to check out. Yeah. So the uh, $1.99 per month is the domain special. Unless I do email address for $1.99. No, you don't need that. So I'm just saying, I think that's what the promo is. It's $1.99 a month. Yeah, wouldn't it wouldn't be that? Don't even. I mean, again, I I can't. I just can't see what you're seeing. But if you can click on that Zoom link from your computer, I can I can see it. Um, this works. Okay, are you? <laughs> you want me to put it on your page what I'm looking at, and then you can delete it. What's that? You want me to put on a message on your Facebook page, and you can see what I'm looking at, and then you can delete it. No, not on that. You could just share screen. I mean, well, you didn't you didn't click on it from your computer, huh? The link, the Zoom link. That's no, all I need you to do. No, but it's not coming up. Like when I scroll over to all my stuff, right? I don't see your name like look you you see my page right the, if i open up our messengers our messaging chat there's the link that i messaged you so you just need to go to your computer click on that and now you're on zoom from your computer i hear you i'm just telling you the link is not showing up on my computer in the message right here in no. our messages no that's so weird. It's right here, right in front of me. So if you look at my screen, it's right here. That's the link I sent you. I messaged you. My screen, and then I was looking at your screen. Yeah, it would be in the messages. And then I've gone to my messages and notifications. You're not even on the list. I'm not kidding. I mean. So Click on my, or maybe type in my name and just kind of my personal profile and then click on messages. I'll go back to your page. Yeah, I'm not a complete Nimrod. I know I'm looking at him. <laughs> so there you are, all right? Yeah, click on messages and then that link. Click on that link. There you are, under your page, not mine. Mm, okay. Let's see if that brings you on to Zoom from your computer. It's launching. <clears throat> it showed that you had sent the message with the link. It just didn't show up in my messages. Gotcha. That's why. Okay find you so it should it should bring you on any second now there we go okay so now I'm gonna admit okay so let me know if you can see your page your Facebook personal page, your Facebook personal page from from my computer. Can you see me scrolling? Yep. Okay. From your so now scroll down with your cursor. You should see the Zoom uh, toolbar there, and you should see a green button that says um, Share Screen. It says host disabled participant screen sharing. 
Okay, I just I just stopped my share, so you should be able to you should be able to share now. See if you can click it again. I have been multi. Let's see if it host disabled participant screen sharing. That's weird. I did not do that. That's so weird. Um, uh, try leaving meeting from your cell phone. So just completely leave that meeting and, okay. and hang, hang up on the cell phone. Awesome. Now see if you can share a screen. Are you there? Okay, so now I cannot hear you. Hi, Kim. Hi there. It didn't work. Okay, so that, that's so weird. I don't know why why you can't sc screen share. But um, if anything, if you can't get out of that part, then I can easily register it for you. I mean. Yeah, I just was trying to figure out, is it a, is it a miss out? Did you see it read differently? Because I still see, which is not breaking the bank, you know, but um, a two dollars a month right? no don't don't that's not what it should be not at all not at all don't don't get it yet don't okay. get it yet yeah don't get it yet we'll, we'll focus on that we'll focus on that let me let me look at that later okay i don't I, I i've do already taken a ton of your time so i'll look at that tonight and i'll i'll try to register it for sure okay and i'll, I'll message you just what can we run the like at at this that's kind of what i wanted to start tonight as well so on that um all right. Does it should it be then a video that I have to create? No, not at all. A simple image, like Facebook already provides all the images. Like all I do is type in luxury homes, and Facebook's going to pull hundreds of images, you know, in California that okay. I can use. So I always use Facebook's image. I always type out the text, and that's a simple like ad that would go to everyone on Facebook who fits the interests of home ownership. And it's just based on our budget that determines how many likes, you know, we can get. So everyone has a different budget. It's totally up, you know, up to you what we want to put towards it. A lot of page does offer, right? So for like, I paid 60 bucks the first year, 90 bucks the second year for, for, what? for the ads that come up on the business page. So they do every day what you see on my business page something about real estate and the properties, um, styles, luxury backyards, things that like I cancel that. that. Well, I already paid for it, but yeah, that, yeah. Any, anything else I'm telling you, anything else aside of a Facebook ad is a waste of time and a waste of money. Fact, okay. fact, because as, as we're posting good content, 99% of the people don't, don't, don't care about it. So that's not where our leads are coming from at all. Our leads are going to come from, and, and the leads aren't even going to come from the likes. We just want to put a few thousand there real quick to get some life to the page. That's where the next dollar should go. And that's why it doesn't have to be a ton, just a little bit of budget, whatever our budget is. But, but our, our leads are going to come when we start running Facebook ads targeting your backyard. It's not going to come from posting randomly art, random articles of, buying or selling that's not where leads are coming from at all at all at all at all so at all if i've got this right the theory is right to get enough get enough likes to get enough uh facebook connections to where then when the facebook ad is run i get enough people right or locally on that that will somehow connect and click and that email will get generated to me. Some, some, you're, you're somewhat on the same page, but the, it's two different things. So first, and that's why I break it down to, to these basic steps. Step two is its own entity. Step two is its own campaign. Step two is only to put a few thousand likes there. Okay. Leads aren't going to come from there um, at all. 
But the reason why that's step two and not step three is because step two, I need 2,500 or so. I need 1,000. I need 1,500. I need whatever. I need a comma in that number. That's step two. I need a comma in that number before I go on a step three. Step okay. three is when we start running Facebook ads to your local area. So the company you're speaking with tomorrow, that's the only thing they're going to do is they are going to pitch you on running local ads to capture leads. But that's what I call step three. So it, 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 it doesn't make sense to, to start step three when we only have 100 likes. Because it's not that the leads are coming from the likes. It's just the fact that when we start running ads to your local area, I want those people to come to your page and see 1,700 likes. I got you. You know what I mean? Like credibility. I, That's the word. Yeah. Credibility. credibility. That's all that is. It's credibility. Now they know that Kim is the shit. Excuse my language. But they just know that you're the, you're the queen, that you're the top, you know, top dog. Like when they see a big number. But if we don't, then we're spending whatever we're spending a thousand a month and people are still questioning our credibility. That's what's crazy for me. Like I said, when we first started speaking and that is it's all fake credibility. And I right? started my career on real credibility. Fortunately in all of the, you know, in all of it, um, moving a lot of States, it's all been referral. So this mm -hmm. is for mm -hmm. COVID, right? I've done, pretty much 90% all my business by referral mm -hmm. and having to start in all of this technology. I'm like, crap. But, but see, crazy. even, even Nobody. with referrals, even with referrals, if I, if I had a message and I started running that message to my local area, whether it was a flyer, whether it was a billboard, whether it was a bus bench, whether it was direct mail, whether it was door knocking, whatever, as I'm getting that branding out, a Facebook ad, whatever as i'm getting that branding out that makes my referrals that much more stronger okay so so you're going to you're going to end up doing something with marketing somehow some way 90% come from referrals but the 10% let me at least get my branding out there and and again the most cost effective is a facebook ad there's nothing offline where we can get our message across for that price at all and i'm not talking 800 a month i'm talking freaking a hundred bucks a month, like, like start small. Like you don't need to hire someone to freaking pay them 1200 a month right now. You ain't, you ain't there yet. Like start small. And, and that's why I start by showing you guys these small steps first. Like let's get our links in place. Let's get our like count up before we even think about another Facebook ad. You know, it's these baby steps because yeah, again, it, it is new to someone like you. But, but these are the basic steps that everyone misses and they just try to go for the home run when it's like, dude, let's hit some, let's get some base hits first. Okay. And then you got okay. companies pitching you 1500. It's like, dude, let me get some base hits first. Like start me small. Like don't start me at a crazy monthly rate. Like what the hell? Like, especially when nothing in my, on my pages are even in order, <laughs> you know, but. So, okay. So for the domain and then I'm, I'll let you go and I will go and do my at and I, I guess I'm going to do right. So Kimberly sells for you will be my business page, but it will be at, um, yeah. and you pick the same thing, pick one thing. Yeah. One name for all, but again, I'll send you a video. It's like, a, it's a short, like 12 minute video. I'll walk you through step one. We just got to know if, if we can put anything towards a like ad. Okay. So what's our budget on that? And then I'll get that started tonight. Well, I mean, how much does a hundred bucks go? I mean, that's that, really. That would literally take us to 1200 likes. So that's why I'm saying like, that's where the next hundred should go. A hundred should go into that like ad. And then every dollar after that goes into lead capture ads. And by that time, again, even if that company is off, off the hook and you hire them tomorrow, that's fine. But at least by the time they start running that, which is what I call step three, by that time, you're at 1200 likes. And all those links are listed. Now you look good. Now it's time to get the attention of our local area. So a okay. hundred bucks would literally take that number. What are you at now? Twelve. You're at what? Are you you're at one one like one something, right? A a, a hundred dollar budget would take that to at least twelve hundred, and it would take it to twelve hundred within the next few days. So it's not like a long term ad. This is a one time ad, and we'd get there in the next few days. How does it so, capture local though? Because what, Facebook does an algorithm. What's that? She's, 
how does it capture local? Does it? Well, because the likes, that's where every agent gets it wrong. Is they think that they could run a like ad to their local area, and that's not what you can do. You'll end up spending 1200 just for 12 likes. Like, and at the end of the day, the likes, that's not where your leads are coming from. So the way you have to run it is you have to target everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. And what I do is I exclude realtors. So it just goes to everyone on Facebook who fits that interest of home ownership and we get thousands of likes fast. And that's it. It's like a one-time ad. Now your page is in, is in position to start running step three, which is local lead capture. That's when you specifically start targeting buyers and sellers to give up their information. That's step three. That's what that company tomorrow is going to pitch you on is capturing leads. That's step three. All I want to do is get that like count up before your local neighbors start seeing your page. And how does it, how does it, or you find local? How does it know that of because my area? You, you type in that local city. So you could target anyone, but that, that local specific targeting is for step three. That's when you start capturing leads. For likes, it's going to go to everyone on Facebook. But to answer your question, we simply type in a city. You can't type in a zip code, but you can type in a city. So if you're in Murrieta, I can run an ad directly to that location. If you have an address, I can run an ad directly to that address and target everyone within a vicinity of that physical address. Gotcha. So when it comes to lead capture, step three, that's where you focus on. But for the likes, that has to run to everyone on Facebook. And that's how we get thousands fast because it's a broad ad. But when you go into Perfect. local lead capture, that's what the company tomorrow is going to talk about. That's step three. And all you do is type in a city name and you target that city and you target that city only. But that's when we're asking for information. That's when we're capturing leads. This is the likes. So step two before step three is what I, you know, what I recommend. I gotcha. Okay. So, uh, I would pick something other than where I, the, the little area I live. No, you don't got to pick anything. You just got to tell me your budget and let's run that ad tonight. That's it. And okay. I just gotta, I just gotta get access to your business page so I can run the ad from your business page and, and that's it. And then you just sit back over the next few days and see that like count go from 120 to 1200. And then, you go on a step three whenever you have the budget. You know, okay. step three is, is now we can start targeting for, for leads. That's step three. That takes a little bit more than a hundred bucks. Like you're, even, if, even if you just run it, run it yourself, which is my goal. My goal is to teach you to do this stuff yourself. I truly believe you don't need anyone to run them for you. Like that's where I'm really headed in 2020 with my business model is teaching you guys how to do it yourself because everyone has a different budget and it's not hard to run them at all. Um, but that's not right now. Like right now, likes and get those links up. That's what has to happen now. So is 1,200, is that our number? It's going to have to be. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Let me um, go to your business page really quick. I'm there. All I'm going to do is let me, um, let me see if I can pull back up. Go to your business page, sells for you. Let me see if I can find it again. Um, Kimberly. Okay, cool. So go to your business page and then click on, you're going to see settings in the top, in the top right. I see it. Okay. So give me one second. All I'm going to do is just request access to the page so I can start the ad uh, tonight. Um, I don't need, I don't need passwords or anything like that. Um, since I haven't changed the apps yet. No, that's fine. It, that, I could still have access to it before. Before, I, before you change that, or even after you change, it doesn't matter. But let me know if you receive a notification. It did. Okay, so click on that notification and then follow it through. You're going to, um, it's going to say towards the middle of the page, it'll say respond to request and you, you'll see inspired digital. Got it. Okay, cool. And then if you follow it through, it should eventually ask you for your password. Page rolls. Uh, yes.
So like you say, I don't know you from Adam. So somewhere in there, got to trust. I'm telling you, Kim. And that's why the reviews, that's what's so crazy about social media also on, on the flip side is that it's so easy for, it's so easy for me or it's so easy for you, I should say. It's so easy for you to go to my business page and give me a nasty review that I cannot delete. So that's why in today's, as transparent as social media is, and we think that it's such a huge world, and, and it is, but at the same time, don't burn, don't burn someone. Because if you do, they can easily give you a nasty review that you cannot get rid of. And that's on Facebook alone, like on Facebook. That's why those, all, all my reviews, man, I freaking cherish the hell out of them because that's credibility. And that's what you want to start doing in your business page as well. As you start to close deals, like get these people to come over to your business page and give you a review. Because what I've been able to do is get 65 people. And when people look at that, they're like, damn, okay, this guy must be the real deal. Like who the hell? And you go to all these people. These are not no fake accounts. Like these are all my clients. These are all real agents. Like there's, there's her step one, listed all the links and come over here to her business page. And then boom, we got this business page that's going up to a thousand. So what she did is she had literally a hundred likes. She put a hundred towards that budget and I'm going to take her up a little over a thousand. And that's it. Call it a day. She has way more than everybody else. And then, and then, and then step three obviously would be next, you know, that's lead capture. So check my emails over the next couple of weeks and I'm going to just teach you these next few steps. And if you have a hard time, you know, reach out to me. So, um, you'll send it to my actual email, correct? Oh yeah, for sure. Whatever email I, I, um, put in, which is okay. the email I have, we have already that I already have from, from us scheduling an appointment. Okay. But let me make sure I'm, I'm connected to this page. Okay, perfect. So now I can just add myself. And once this ad is done, so our magic number, just because we're at, you're at 120. So our magic number is going to be 11, actually 1200. Let's call it 1200. Once you reach 1200, which is literally going to be in the next few days, you can easily remove me. So this is just going to give me access to the page to run ads. But once this like ad, if we don't go on to step three, let's say you hire the company tomorrow and that's totally fine but at least you'll have a high light count by then. Um, and let's say you don't need me after that. Once you hit 1200, just you can go back in right where you responded to requests. You can now refresh the page and, and you'll see remove. So you can easily remove me, you know, once this ad is done, okay. but this is just where we start. And then, you know, hopefully we can, we can continue to build, build, you know, build a relationship because that's where I ultimately want you. I want to be capturing leads. I want to be running Facebook ads, targeting that local area, capturing buyer and seller leads because at the end of the day that's all that matters all i gave you today was a prep on what to do first before you get to that part and yeah. that's what we're going to do right these links and these likes that yeah. has to happen first so david that's for sure yes that's for for sure for sure i appreciate you just whatever card just give me a card what card can i use for the ad either visa master or amex and i'm going to email you an actual receipt of the ad as well visa okay I'm, I'm ready when you are. Got to get my wallet. Okay. 41.